Bonfire Fishing here and welcome back to another lure YouTube that I am bringing it back. Yes, I had a couple videos where I did not because I had extra videos and I did not have time for this one. But anyways, it's actually a very windy day. I'm here at my lake. It's, it's after the tournament. Tournament video coming soon Friday on my post. But for Lure Review Tuesday, I got flutes. I heard that bubble gum is the best color. $3.50 for these guys. So I've actually never used a flute style bait before. So this right here is gonna be brand new for me. So I got, I'm gonna pair it up with a worm hook. I don't know, I don't know what size I'm thinking, like a, a four rod maybe. But I'm gonna be jerking it around because that's what I heard. These things are like a jerk bait in the water. So I'm gonna be giving these things a shot. Three dollars and fifty cents for these packs. Ten of them. Bubble gum. Bubble gum and white are the ones I hear are the best. But we're gonna go right on down there and give it a shot. You guys, stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. So here's what he looks like. I put him on like a normal worm. I put the GoPro right down in here. Put him on like a normal worm. So I'm gonna expose the tip. So, yeah. We're gonna see how he goes. Casting him around or something. Today the water is really green. Extremely green. Greener than usual. Okay. About good right there. Yeah, and I was able to actually cast with that. I, I put it weedless. Well, I take it back. Weightless, that's the word that I was looking for. Not weedless. So it's actually a weightless lure. And that thing was able to cast out decently far. Yeah, so if you guys know how to use a jerk bait, then I think you guys would be able to really use this good. Or you can even practice with this thing before you hit the jerk bait itself, because the jerk bait is more expensive than this setup. But like a lot, a lot of people, others, other people say, whenever you use a jerk bait, you want to have some slack in your line, and then jerk it a couple times. I like going sideways, but if it gets low, pop it up once or twice. All right. Well, good luck. Got one. Yeah, I finally got one all day until I'm about to be leaving. I got one. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go, guys. We got a little one right here on this fluke in the hook that I have. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna get her back in. We finally got one. Oh, this video is worth it now. Let's go. Alrighty. See you, dude. That was such a weird release. I don't know why I released it. There it goes. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I think she's back in. That's fish numeral one for the day. I'm just going to walk right on there to where the bridge is at, and I'm leaving. <laughs> that was going to be my game plan. And then he bit. So I'm really excited that I was able to get one for you guys. Well, I'm going to see if I can get another one for y'all before I head on out. You guys just stay tuned. Got another one, guys. You got a little guy. You got a little tiny guy. Little, little guy. Ooh, right in the eye socket. Not good. Oh, there we go. See you, buddy. Come on. See you, dude. Well, how did you get on this other side? Actually, let's get on this other side real quick. All right, it's two of bass for the night. Really close thing back, back to back. Alrighty y'all, I hope you enjoyed today's new review Tuesday. So, I used this bubble gum pink fluke. This thing was pretty fire once it got later in the day. It was just too hot today from when I started. If I, I guarantee you, if I would've came out as soon as I caught the first guy until tonight, 
I'll be loading up in like five more for you guys. So I get that fluke, uh, nine out of 10. I personally really like it. Mainly how it caught two back-to-back -back fish real quick. So I'm gonna have to use it some more. You guys will see it in future videos for sure. This was very awesome. But please consider subscribing and pressing that like button. Um, comment down below something. May maybe some that you would like to see next in one of my videos. Like another lure review Tuesday, some like a prank bait, a chatter bait, spinner bait, like a buzz bait. Any kind of lure that you want. Those are just some common ones that I know how to throw really, really easily and good for bass. But you guys want to see them? Tell me, please. And don't forget the notifications though. But anyways, I'm going to have to talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.